Hey, Chris here, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to look at my general investment account over on Free Trade. I wanna share with you how much money I have in that account in total, for those of you that stick around to the end. And we're also going to look at the 28 stocks that I'm buying to increase my money in that account. These 28 stocks are providing market beating returns and that's because they're fantastic companies. So when I started out looking into investing, I wasn't really sure what to buy. But now with many, many months of research and hours and hours of reading, including those books that you see behind me on the camera, I now have a much, much better idea of what a good company is and not just something to buy because you're hoping it will go up in value. Now, for those of you that are aware of an ISA, you might be asking now, why are you investing in your general account? Why not buy these companies in your ISA? Well, the reason for that is I'm actually in a financial position now because I've kept my living expenses as low as possible and I've tried to increase my income as much as possible. I'm now able to max out my ISA each tax year. So the most you can put in an ISA in a tax year is actually 20,000 pounds or roughly just over 1,600 a month. And that's what I'm doing. But in order to then invest elsewhere, you need to invest in your general investment account or even your pension. But firstly, I want to max out my general account before I start going into a pension. And that's because when you get up to 300,000 pounds in your general account, what you can actually do is withdraw 4% per tax year and take 12,000 pounds out completely tax-free plus another 2,000 pounds in dividends. So actually take 14,000 pounds out of a general investment account completely tax-free. Anything over that, you have to then pay tax on it. So that's why 300,000 is my magic number for what I want to get to in my general account. Once I've achieved that, I can take that 14 grand a year that I'm getting tax-free from it and actually put it into my pension. So I'll be able to max out my ISA, be putting 14,000 pounds that I've not even had to work for into my pension and then carry on adding the money that I was putting in my general account into my pension. So it's just really going forward over the next several years, it's just gonna be money onto money, which is growing your money further and it's just going to explode over the next 10 to 20 years. But getting into it and showing you these 28 stocks, which by the way, of course, it's not financial advice and do your own research. This is just what I'm investing in. But I'm gonna be looking down at my sheet here because I have everything written down, but I'll put a nice little uh, cut out of my phone here on the side. So the first company that I want to tell you about is PayPal. And I currently have £245.57 invested in them. Now I know that's just the first one, but before we go any further, Please bear in mind that all of these companies I mentioned, they may not be a good price to buy right now. So at the time of recording this, I would not be interested in buying any more of say uh, Coca-Cola, which is in the list, but I am very interested in buying more of this first one that I've just mentioned. And actually this second one here. So Meta, uh, previously known as Facebook, I have 76 pounds 58 invested in that company. Uh, yeah, PayPal and Meta, I'm very happy to buy more at their current discounted price. So the price is very low at the moment. But as I say, Coca-Cola and also McDonald's is another company in here. I wouldn't really be interested in adding to them until the price dropped down a bit from where it currently is. The next company on the list, uh, one I just mentioned actually, is McDonald's and I've bought 57 pounds six pence worth of McDonald's so far. Microsoft is the next one on the list there, 49 pounds uh, seven pence, I think that says. Yeah, about 49 pounds. Then Nike, or Nike, depending on how you want to pronounce it, is the next one there with £28.18. The next company after that is called Waste Management. Now, you probably won't have heard of Waste Management, but they do pretty much all of America's rubbish. Like, they take out the rubbish in America. Very solid, great long-term investment. Only have £2.32 in there at the moment. Uh, I wasn't sure if I should put more in or wait for the price to drop down. As I put the two pounds in, the price then went flying up. So I'm gonna wait for a bit to see that price come down again because stocks, as we know, go up and down all the time. But with these uh, stocks here, they are generally going up in value. So as long as you buy them for a minimum of five years, you are bound to make money. The next one after waste management is automatic data processing or ADP. Again, just £2.31 in there. I really want to add more to that when I can. 
Coca-Cola, I've already mentioned that, but that's next on the list here. That's £2.25 that I have in there. Then S&P Global, so another company you may not have heard of. They are basically the company that put together all of the um, indexes, so like the S&P 500. That's what S&P Global work on, and they're a great long-term investment. Uh, £2.06 pence there, going to be adding a, a lot more to them when I can. And then the next company after that is TJX or TK Max, as we know it here in England. But TJX, great investment, £1.98 in that one. After that, we have Alphabet, also known as Google, but Alphabet here, £1.84 that I have in Alphabet. Again, going to add more to that when the price comes down to a more acceptable level that I'm more comfortable with. Now, the rest of the companies in the list, I don't actually have any money invested in them yet. But when the timing is right and uh, the price comes down to a level I'm happy with, I will be investing in them. So at the moment out of that list, the main companies I'm really happy to put more money into are actually that PayPal and Meta, also Nike as well, really happy to put money in there, and TJX. So they've come down to a price where I'm very, very happy to buy more of them. Before we get into these other companies, I will just say that any of these companies that are in US dollars when you buy them through free trade, as I'm sure you're aware if you're already on free trade, if you only want to invest two pounds in, you can by buying just a fraction of a share. Whereas with the English stocks, you can't do that. You have to buy a full share each time. But it's great that you can do that with the US stocks, just buy a little tiny part of it. And that's great for anyone on a lower budget that wants to just build it slowly over time. But carrying on with the list of companies that I feel are a fantastic investment, we have Visa and then MasterCard. I'm sure they need no explanation. You will have heard of those. Also after that, we have uh, Amazon. Again, no explanation required. Then after that, we have two companies very similar in what they do, but still both solid investments. So Kone and Otis. So if you ever go to Tesco and you ride on one of those travelators that takes you up to the next uh, level there, that is a likely a Otis or Kone travelator. If you go into a TK Maxx and go in the lift, that's likely a Kone lift. Just next time you go on one, look on the floor and it will actually show it printed in the metal. Well, every time people ride on those and you own their shares in their company, you're then actually making money because this is something that I found out actually from Terry Smith and the Funsmith brand. So every time people ride on those, it gets closer to needing a service and the servicing is what makes those companies the money. So they have to have a technician that goes out, services the lifts, and then they charge that company. They charge Tesco, they charge TK Maxx, etc. And isn't that great that you can make money as people are just riding on these lifts? But carrying on further with the list, because we do have a few more to go here, we have a Unilever. You very likely have their products in your bathroom at the moment. Then we have Sony. They don't need any explanation. I'm recording this. On a Sony camera, I have my phone here with the free trade app loaded on a Sony phone. Everyone knows Sony. Uh, then after that, we have Diageo. They're a massive drink supplier, so they have a lot of the big brands of drinks. I'll put a few of the uh, logos up for drinks brands that they uh, own there. Then after that, we have uh, Intuit. Then uh, Idex and McCormick uh, Spices. Then we have Striker and uh, Estee Lauder, and then Novo, Nordisk, and then after that, Abbott Labs, and then Becton Dickinson, and then finally, Procter and Gamble. Now, I just flew through all the rest of those without an explanation because I didn't want this video to end up being too long. Potentially, in a future video, I'll go into those companies in more detail so that you can understand really what you would be investing in. But uh, yeah, that's what I wanted this video to be, just sharing with you what I'm investing in on my general account, and uh, what is going to grow my wealth there with those 28 really, really solid companies. Now, currently, this is the total eight and a half thousand pounds that I have in my free trade account. So I'm way off the 300,000 pound target at the moment. But actually, if you look on the graph there, you'll see that uh, although I've been adding money, the balance isn't really going up. And that's because right now I'm adding money, but the market keeps dropping. So likely in the next year or two, maybe three years, we don't know. But over time, what we'll see is a massive explosion of money in that account. Because of course, if you're investing while the prices are going down, when they then recover and go shooting up, you just make even more money.
But that is going to do it for this video. Please do drop a like below if you've enjoyed the video or you had any value from it. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.